This is my brother. This is not my brother. This is my brother. I hope this is never my brother. These days my brother frustrates me. I can see that he's dealing with tough things, but he has no intentions of getting out of his rut. He's been living with my parents for the past year, and he's 23 years old. He needs a plan. I could never have a, a suit and tie job and go to a cubicle or an office or something like that. I can't, I'm not gonna do that. It's not like I'm in school, like in high school anymore and I can take different random electives and see what I like, you know? I'm in the real world where like the only thing you do is make money. It's hard for me to find purpose in some things. Like, why am I really doing it? Like, do that, I don't think. Like, I just did, I did do a lot of stuff just to do it. Good way to get, get away from the house, go with the parents for a little bit. Like, so right now, you, you're not working right now, right? No. It's like, it's, it's, like, I don't feel like getting back into the restaurant, but I don't know what else to do because, uh, it's the only kind of work I've done in a long time. So what, what other passions do you think you might have? I don't know yet. You've had ideas though, man. I've had ideas, like go to uh, go to Oaksir, or, um, Oaksir Game in California and learn how to grow pot. What an interesting plan, Matt. Grow pot. I really worry about you sometimes. Before I would start cooking, I like eating. Did I make a career out of it? You know, I smoke a lot of pot, why not try and make a career out of it? I don't know. It's like somewhat not realistic because it's marijuana, you can't really make a career out of it. <laughs> My brother really frustrates me. I never understand if he has what it takes to succeed in this life. He always starts these ideas and builds them up and never continues to go with them. It's a vicious cycle of starting and quitting and starting and quitting and he has these rationalizations for his quitting. But the reality is that he keeps quitting. I always ask myself, is there ever going to be something that he starts and he continues to stick with it? Agriculture had always crossed my mind. Um, learn how to uh, farm food. Crazy dog. Um, learn how to farm in certain ways, you know. Um, I think the next step in, in, in agriculture is, I mean, it's already started, but um, to grow in cities, like um, urban culture, I guess you could maybe call it, growing like rooftops, you know? You have the space and you could, you could make different layers of like where the food is, like there's certain foods that grow underground, like potatoes and different roots, you know, you grow those underground. Then you have another layer of, of uh, dirt and you grow like, you know, plants that go on top of the ground. And you, you could do a lot. It's, you know, in such a small space. Especially like if it's a restaurant, you know, imagine a restaurant did it. Put all your produce on hand. It'd be very cool. There's a lot of stuff that just doesn't, I, I think of that doesn't seem like it could be real. Is it realistic, like the ideas that I have in my head? You know, like, um, a lot of stuff is not as easy as, you know, just saying to do it. 
there's a lot more steps in the life than doing just what you say you do. Do you have any realistic solutions at trying to achieve what you're trying to what you what you want out of life? Not right now. So what do you plan on doing for the next six months? I don't know. I really don't know yet. I get this feeling sometimes when we say goodbye that this could be the last time. I know it sounds dramatic and probably untrue, but it's how I feel. Maybe he just can't do it right now and he needs his time. I can't tell if it's all just part of a process or if it's just who he is and he's not going to change. A cycle, frozen in time, never creating a life for himself. Would you worry about him too?